this is the English version of my feature, The Welsh Influence in Liverpool, which I wrote in 2015. It's one of the most popular articles on my aiden.co.uk site, so I decided to redo it as a visual podcast. The Welsh Influence in Liverpool is a story of migration from a country that's not so far away, but with a language that's very different to English. The Welsh streets were built in the 19th century by Welsh migrants, but in the early 21st century, they were threatened with destruction. Luckily, they've been saved. This story shows how the interaction between languages and cultures through migration has helped to shape the city and country we see today. Please like, subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. There are many connections between Liverpool and Wales. It's said that Liverpool is regarded by many people in North Wales as their capital, not Cardiff. The Welsh accent has influenced the Liverpool accent, and the border with Wales is just 12.5 miles down the road from Birkenhead. You can see the Cluidian Hills from many parts of the city, including Toxteth in the south. The view over the Liverpool region from the A55 in Flintshire, North Wales, is magnificent. Welsh people started to migrate to Liverpool in the 18th century. In 1813, around 8,000 people or 10% of the residents of Liverpool were Welsh. They created communities around the city and Welsh was the dominant language in those places. As in other British cities, there are streets named after places in Wales, such as Denby Road in Walton and Barmouth Way in Vauxhall. But the most important symbol of the Welsh influence in Liverpool is the area called the Welsh Streets in Toxteth, next to Prince's Park, about a 10 minute bus ride south of the city centre. The street names, and I'll try to say them Welsh style, include Winstay Street, Vuelas Street, Riolas Street, Powys Street, Madryn Street, Kinmel Street, Gwydir Street, Penguern Street, Treborth Street, Dovey Street, Tylo Street and Elwy Street. These streets were built by Welsh building workers during the 19th century. The houses were designed by Welsh architect Richard Owens, who also designed many terraced houses in Liverpool, as well as churches in North Wales. Over the years, the area became run down. In the 2000s, there were plans to demolish the Welsh streets, including the house where Ringo Starr was born, 9 Madryn Street. Local residents were generally in favour of refurbishment rather than demolition, but the houses were vacated and prepared for being pulled down. Beatles tours continued to the area and fans wrote messages on the front of the boarded up house. The organisations Save Britain's Heritage and the National Trust campaigned for the area to be renovated, especially because of its significance in the story of the Beatles. A new plan was drawn up by Place First, a company based in Manchester that designs, builds and refurbishes homes for rent. Around three quarters of the houses in the Welsh streets have been retained and renovated. Today, Ringo Starr's old house looks almost new. In October 2019, the transformation of Welsh streets by Place First was named UK's Best Residential Project in the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors Awards. The Welsh influence in Liverpool declined during the 20th century. According to the 2001 census, around 1.17% of the population were born in Wales. But there are plenty more people in the city who have Welsh ancestors. For me, the clearest evidence of the Welsh influence in Liverpool is the accent. The up and down intonation of the Scouse accent is similar to the Welsh accent in English or the Welsh language itself. In the Scouse accent, we can literally hear the influence of all those people who migrated from Wales to Liverpool in past centuries. There's also an Irish influence on the Liverpool accent, but that's another story. The patron saint of Wales is Saint David, or Dewi Sant in Welsh. Saint David's Day is celebrated every year in Liverpool, in Wales, and around the world on the 1st of March. The German musician Zinni Sonnenberg used to live in the Welsh streets, and later in Egberth in South Liverpool. Now he lives in Germany. Watch my interview to find out more. Thanks very much. Vielen Dank, Johann Vaur.